Hi guys and welcome to Thankful Thursdays again with myself, Kel, and also Rachel. So I'm not actually sure if Rachel's doing a video this week. She said that she'd try, but it's possible that it might only be me. So I just wanted to, to let you guys know about that. And before I get started, I thought I should probably update you all after I left the video early, feeling quite ill last week. And I've just been to the doctors and it turns out that it's possible that um, some past glandular fever has triggered some other sort of illness and so I'm being sent to a specialist in that in Liverpool so at the moment I'm still spending most days stuck in the house, stuck in bed, not doing very much but hopefully I'll get this appointment through and things can start to get sorted out, whatever that means. So anyway, getting on to the question for this week. The question that we're looking at this week was sent to me as a personal message. And the question was, do you think you could do a video about what helped you most in recovery? Did something specific help you to turn it around? So I guess, guess my first disclaimer is that my experience might not be helpful for even just one other person. What helped me recover might not help you recover, might not help the next person recover. And everybody's experience of their eating disorder and their experience of their recovery is individual. Um, but I'm certainly going to give you sort of my process and what helped me. So I suppose I didn't have a singular turning point when I just sort of snapped. But I think I did have sort of a few turning points that I snapped a few times and I needed that to keep me going sort of thing, it's sort of fuel for my force. So I suppose my first snapping point, my first turning point was when I was sent to inpatient. So I went to inpatient and that was quite of a shock to me because it made me realise, okay Kel, you're actually really ill, look at these people around you, they're really ill. and you wouldn't be here if you weren't really ill as well and so that helped me and also I think seeing people in inpatient made me think oh my gosh look at the hold this this illness has over all of these people you can't just listen to it isn't your friend look what it's doing to everybody and that sort of helped me as well and I actually decided to leave inpatient early because that sort of gave me some drive and some get up and go and the other thing that helped at the time as well was nobody believed I could recover outside of inpatient. Everybody was like, you need to be here. And I'm a very stubborn person. So being told you can't do this was really just more reason for me to prove that I could. And I know it's not that easy and it really wasn't. It's probably been the hardest thing I've ever gone through recovering. And, um, but it really did help me because I just am just that type of person. If somebody says, I can't do something, if somebody puts a barrier in the way, I'll do whatever it takes. So that really helped me. Um, something else that helped me was, because after I left inpatient, it wasn't as easy as I thought it might have been, and I really struggled for months and months. And then as I mentioned before, I was told that I was beyond help by a psychologist, and, well basically broke down, completely broke down. And at that point I started seeing the counsellor who I've been seeing ever since. And I think seeing her, even my first appointment with her, was probably my biggest turning point because it was the first time somebody asked me why. And everybody took the focus off the weight. And it wasn't about weight and food. With my counsellor that I'm seeing now, it was, okay, Kel, so what's going on? And it was... The first time that anybody had asked me that and it was quite a shock because for years and years everybody had been like you need to eat this and what's your problem with weight and not why are you hurting but what's your problem with weight and it really for me never was about specifically the weight so having somebody that was willing to listen to the other stuff and not focus on the weight and not focus on the food really helped me because if you think in that mindset your head's completely focused on food and on weight and on that obsession I literally did, at that point, spend every waking minute focused on my eating disorder. It's absolutely fantastic to have 
this space once a week where I didn't think about weight and I didn't think about food and it was a horrible painful process to talk about some of the things I did talk about in my counselling but at the same time it was this little space where my eating disorder wasn't taking over, it wasn't everything and that's just a really good feeling and it gave me hope that it was possible I could get better as well and so I'm thankful that that really did eventually work for me so I suppose for me the one thing that helped me most in recovery was taking the focus off of weight off of my body and for me dealing with what was behind that so I suppose that's my answer and some of the things also help me which I always go on about is writing and I write a lot but that really did help me a lot and I think I couldn't have recovered without that because it's been a lifeline between counselling appointments when things have been difficult so hopefully that talks around that a little bit and like I said don't just take that as the one answer it might not be for you it might not be take the focus off weight and food that might not help you but that was just my one experience so hopefully that helps a little bit and don't give up hope guys because you really can recover okay take care bye